Hallo, mein Wunder von Amiibo Listeners. Willkommen zu einer der Interesting News. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has said that the president, Ashwa Jubala Metunubu's led Nigerian government, must not allow the country to drift into anarchy due to the continued horrible spats of killings and criminality. Peter Obi, who gave the warning on Monday night on his Twitter handle, lamented the recent multiple terrorist attack and killing in Plato, Shokoto, Zamfara, Benue State, saying it had become depressing and extremely worrisome. According to the former Anambra State Governor, who is currently challenging President Tunubu's election in the tw- February 25 presidential election at the Presidential Election Petition Court. A total of 236 Nigerians have been killed recently in Plato, Shokoto, Sanfara, and Benue State. Peter Obi said the continued horrible spat of all forms of criminality, especially visceral bloodletting and killings, as witnessed recently in Plato, where, where over 120 people were killed, 50 in Shokoto, 31 in Sanfara, and 25 in Benue are very depressing and extremely worrisome. These fatalities, these fatalities are not just numbers but a wastage of sacred human lives, of people who lived among us as family members, relatives and friends. While I appreciated the effort of the government at all levels and security agencies, I respectfully appeal that they do more to arrest this situation before it deteriorates further. Government and the security agencies must not allow the nation to continue this drift, this drift towards anarchy. I sincerely commiserate with the affected families. May God grant them, may God grant rest to the dead. That will be who give who gave the warning on Monday night on his Twitter handle, laments the recent multiple terrorist attack and killing in the state, saying it could it had become depressing and extremely worrisome. Peter Gregory Obi, who is a Nigerian businessman and politician, who served as the governor of Anambra State. In May 2022, he became the Labour Party candidate for the president of Nigeria and in the 2023 presidential election after defecting from the People's Democratic Party. Peter Obi, who contested in the Anambra State governorship election as a candidate for the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, in 2003, but his opponent, Chris Gige, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, was declared winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission. After nearly three years of litigation, Ngigi's victory was overturned by the Court of Appeal in 15th of March 2006. Peter Obi took office for governorship in 17th of March 2006. On the 2nd of November 2006, he was impeached by the Anambra State House of Assembly led by Honorable Mike Balongo after seven months in office and was replaced the next day by Virginia Etiaba, his deputy, making her the first ever governor, ever female governor in Nigeria's history. Peter Obi successfully challenged his impeachment and was reinstated as the governor on the 9th of February 2007 by the Court of Appeal sitting in Enugu. Etiaba handed power back to him after the court ruling. Peter Obi once again left office on the 29th of May 2007 following the general election in which Andy Uba was declared the winner by the electoral body. Peter Obi returned to the court once more, this time contending that the four-year four tenure he had won in 2003 election only started when he, when he took office in March 2006. On the 14th of June 2007, the Supreme Court of Nigeria upheld Peter Obi's contention and returned Obi back to office. 
This brought an upshot and the um, an upshot and the tenor of the Peter B successor and Uba whose fourteenth of April two thousand seven election the Supreme Court nullified on the grounds that Peter B's four year tenor should have remained undisturbed until March two thousand and ten. On the twenty on the seventh of February two thousand and ten, the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC declared Peter O B the winner of the twenty ten Anambra gubernatorial election. It defeated Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. This election victory gave Peter Governor Obi an additional four years as the governor of Anambra State. On the 17th of March 2014, Peter Obi served out his second term and handed over to governorship to Willie Obiano. After leaving office in 2014, Peter Obi gained new status as an advocate for good governance and national political figure after the campaign to the People Democratic Party in 2014. After the 2015 general election, President Goodluck Jonathan appointed Peter Obi as the chairman of the National Security and Exchange Commission. On the 12th of October 2018, Peter Obi was named as the running mate for Atiku Abubakar, the People Democratic Party presidential candidate in the 2019 presidential election. As a candidate for the vice, vice president, Peter Obi opposed proposal for a standardized national minimum wage, arguing that different states should have different minimum wages. The Atiku Abubakar ticket came second in the election. On the 24th of March 2022, Peter Obi declared his intention to run for president of the Nigeria under the platform of the People Democratic Party, but later pulled out and announced he would be running under the Labour Party platform instead. Peter Obi wrote to the leadership of the People Democratic Party on the 24th of May to resign his membership. Peter Obi reportedly complained of the massive bribing of delegates and vote buying at the party presidential primary of PDP citing the existence of party clinic co collaboration against him. Younger generation under 30 proved to be some of the biggest supporters, showing their support via social media and protests and street march to Peter Obi for the 2023 election. Aisha Yusuf, a prominent activist noted as the co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement and a supporter of the NSAS campaign, endorsed Peter Obi in her first ever endorsement of a presidential candidate. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.